Okay, the cardiac cycle. The cardiac cycle is divided into two parts. You have systole and diastole. By definition, systole means to contract and diastole means to dilate. Whenever a blood vessel is dilated, it's dilated because it's relaxed. Okay, so I always think of it being contraction and relax, relaxation. And if you think of it like that, it's you, you pretty much get the concept of it. Okay, there's going to be two parts here. And remember that whenever we talk about systole, we're talking about ventricular systole. If you just say systole, you're talking about the ventricles contract. If the ventricles contract, you say systole. If you're talking about the atria contracting, you have to say atrial systole because it's just understood with systole that you're talking about the ventricles. Same thing with diastole. If the, ventric if the ventricles are relaxed, then that's called the ventricles, that's, that's, that's said that the heart is in diastole. Okay, so whenever your atria are relaxed and you're wanting to talk about the atria, you actually have to say atrial diastole. So let's look at the events of systole. Okay, in systole, we're going to have the ventricles starting to contract. Ventricles begin to contract. Whenever the ventricles contract, this increases the pressure in the ventricles. Let's look at the pictures with this. I'm going to have to erase some of this. But I kind of like the idea of looking at it as we go through with it. Next time I'll get a bigger eraser. Okay, so let's look at the heart. And... Here's the heart. Here are our four chambers. Okay, and we left a space there for our valves. Let's look at our semilunar valves. Well, first of all, let's look at the pressure here. The ventricle is relaxed and it's starting to contract. So what is the pressure in the ventricle? You start out with low pressure, right? So the ventricles begin to contract. Um, they have low pressure right now. Okay, remember that blood goes from high pressure to low pressure. So this pressure in the aorta here is relatively high. So blood is trying to go back down towards the ventricle. And remember that your aortic semilunar valves are going to be closed. So the blood cannot go into the ventricles. Okay, you're starting to contract. The pressure right now is higher in the atria than what they are in the ventricles. And so here are your AV valves. They're going to be opened and blood is going to become, the blood just got through coming this direction. Ventricles are going to start to contract, and this increases the pressure in the ventricles. Whenever you increase the pressure in the ventricles, the blood starts moving up towards the atria. And what goes along with the atria? Remember these little floppy valves? The valves are going to be floppy. They're going to move with the blood, and they're actually going to, I didn't mean to get the same color there. Okay. The valves are going to go towards the atria so that they're going to close. Okay, so there's, those are your closed tricuspid valve and your mitral valve. Okay, the pressure increases in the ventricles. You can see that all of your valves are closed. Now, all of those valves are closed, and that's called your period of isovolumic contraction. In isovolumic contraction, iso means the same, volume is referring to how much blood, and the contraction is that the ventricles are contracting. So in this period, you can see that the ventricles are contracting, they're pushing the blood up towards the atria, or actually pushing the blood up, but the pressure hasn't gotten high enough to open up the semilunar valves, but it is high enough to close the AV valves. So all valves are closed, that means that the, the amount of blood in each ventricle is going to be the same. So it's the isovolumic contraction. Okay, the next one is that 
the ventricles continue to contract. Ventricles continue to contract. As the ventricles continue to contract, the pressure increases more. The pressure increases. Eventually, the pressure is going to increase. The pressure increases enough to push open the semilunar valves. So here, let's look at our semilunar valves. Or we look at our pressure. Our pressure is going to get high, and the pressure is going to be high enough to change colors for the pen. Okay, it'll be high enough to. This is purple. High enough to open up our semilunar valves and allow the blood to flow from the ventricle out into the aorta or into the pulmonary trunk. So here we're going to use red and we're going to say our blood is moving into the aorta. There's a big arrow there. Okay, so now the ventricle is contracting. It's contracted enough so that it's increased the pressure, pushed open the semilunar valves, and blood is leaving the heart. This is called the period of ejection. In the period of ejection, blood is leaving the heart. It's going through the aorta and the pulmonary trunk. Okay, those are the events of systole. Let's look at the events of diastole. Let me erase all of these here. In diastole, the ventricles are going to relax. So they just got through contracting. They're going to relax. So we're going to erase our blood here. Okay, so this is diastole. Okay, the blood is going to be coming back down towards the ventricles whenever the ventricles relax and the semilunar valves are immediately going to close. So that's our first step here. Let me get a thinner pen so it won't take up so much room. Here we go. So the ventricles begin to, begin to relax. Okay, what happens to the pressure? The pressure in the ventricles decreases. Blood tries to go from the arteries. To the ventricles. And that means that the semilunar valves close. Okay, you can see in our drawing, we already have our closed semilunar valves. We're missing a little bit of our picture here. I don't know what happened to it. but um, And you can see that the pressure is still high enough, though, in the ventricles to be pushing up here. It hasn't gone down all the way. So there's a little bit of pressure still pushing on their AV valves. All the valves are closed. And this is called the period of isovolumic relaxation. The reason it's called relaxation is because we're looking at the ventricles relaxing and not con contracting. Isovolumic, iso means the same volume, tells you it's the same volume of blood. So all the valves are closed. You can't get more blood into the ventricles and you can't make blood leave the ventricles if all the valves are closed. So it's called the isovolumic relaxation. So what continues to happen? The ventricles continue to relax. What happens to the pressure? Decreases in pressure. Okay, eventually, you're not going to have enough pressure to hold open or hold close the AV valve here. And so this AV valve here is going to open. Both of them actually got open. Let me just go and draw both of them. The AV valves are going to open, and blood's going to move from the atria to the ventricles. Okay, so the AV valves, the AV valves open and blood travels from the atria to the ventricles. Since the atria are not contracting, 
This is called passive ventricular filling.